What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about a picture circulating about Scream 7 2025. You may have seen it, you may not have seen it, but we'll show it. We'll talk about it. It's uh, uh, it's just another thing to you know add to the rumor pile. So I saw this from Critical Overlord, but actually I believe came from Scream Trilogy and it's a picture of, you know, you see at the top, Fun World since 1963 and boy are they obvious. You know, they just throw it all out. Ghostface Returns in Scream 7 2025 and then obviously all of the uh, the masks so this is a fit like this is this is a real thing the issue and I think people have kind of pointed it out afterwards um, or like below the picture so I think that this picture was actually months ago at least I, I think Critical Overlord specifically said that when there was stuff going on now I guess the biggest thing would be when you know again a few months ago but that's not like a very specific time I would love to know specifically when they put up this little display and then I guess when the picture was taken both of those are probably important because you know if this was before the week before Thanksgiving so if this was any time before like say November 12th through 15th it means something very different <laughs> than if it was put up you know afterwards um because you know losing them obviously slows things down but I think it does bring up the question of, and we, we have talked about this, but regardless of everything, regardless of all the stuff that's been happening and Nev and Melissa and Jenna, does this movie still come out in 2025? Well, again, picture specific depends on when it was taken. Again, if it was before that, then you really, I don't think you can put too much into it. Um, I mean, tw a year is a long period of time and you really could film this thing and release within the same year, depending on when that happens, right? If you film in the beginning of the year, you really could get this thing out by the end of the year, whichever year you're talking about. So is there something in this picture or something to this picture? Maybe, especially again, if it was around that mid-November period, then that that's good. You know, I, well, I guess it's good in the sense that they're still planning on it, you know, for those that are, which, you know, I've said, I want Scream 7. I know it's been a, a dumpster fire and all that stuff, but uh, I want to see what they do. Um, you know, again, we've talked about how much fun it is to, to talk about and watch these Scream movies. So I'm absolutely up, you know, for a Scream 7. But again, okay, well, regardless of the picture, you know, do we get this movie in 2025? I think so. Um, I mean, it's just an opinion of mine, and I've seen it kind of echoed online by other, you know, Scream creators thinking, yeah, 2025 makes a lot of sense, because it does. You know, again, everything's been thrown out of whack, but I think it doesn't take forever to do a script, especially if, like, that's the thing that you're doing, right? If you're, like, in and out of script writing, and I'm, I, I'm saying this not as a script writer, but I, I try to pay attention decently. If you are, like, on it, and they are on this Scream 7 script, it's not going to take forever. It's going to take a few months. Um, now, there, there's a range for sure. Sometimes it could take two months. Sometimes it could take four or five or six. But we're not talking like a year and a half of every day they wake up, they go to their computer, and they t type stuff out. It's just not going to happen. So with that being said, I do think by the middle of this year, they are they have an idea of what they're doing. Now, as we've talked about, that I just don't understand do they have to write multiple scripts? Because if you write a script now with Sydney as the lead, which I would do, that would be what I would do. But then if you go to Nev and you can't work out money and you lose her, well, did you just lose out on three, four, five months of work? Do you have to go back to the draw? Like literally, what do you do? So do you write multiple scripts? We've talked about, I mean, did they already have multiple scripts? Or if you had a story where Sydney is half of it and Sam is the other half, well, without Melissa, you eliminate that. You already kind of have half the movie. You just expand it, which would actually be a, a a sign or something to reinforce what I just said, right? It maybe doesn't take all that long. Maybe you already have 50% of it done. You just need to add the others. So now it should definitely not take, you know, a year, year and a half. So, you know, again, the point is, can you do it in 2025? Yes, I think things have been delayed, clearly. And I think if the idea was to get this movie out late this year, or early next year, that has been pushed. I could see, and the way my timeline, I guess, works right now, you you figure out what you're doing by around halfway through this year, and you try to shoot to film by the end of this year or extremely early next year. And then you put the movie out around that October, November, December period of 2025. It's not what they probably want because, you know, as we've talked about, 
it's fast money like it definitely it, it takes money to make money but they make a lot of money off of this thing and it's it's probably not the craziest thing that they do as a studio to make that kind of money so i feel you know they want it quick they want it you know faster than what they're getting it right and i'm sure they didn't want all this drama but yet again they caused it themselves so it's not really you know it's their own fault um so yeah i think while they probably wanted it sooner i don't think you're you're looking at like 2026 2027 i think especially with all the stuff we've said to me it really has come down to only like two options number one everything i just said you get this movie out in 2025 and, and you kind of figure it out in, in one way or another it's either that or it's canceled you know and we've talked about you know rumors of it canceled or should it be canceled and then that's totally you know there's plenty of people that have said to just straight out cancel it and, and sell the right like selling the rights is a good idea i really like that canceling it all that jazz i get it i totally respect that that may very well and, and we've said this that might be the best thing for the franchise. Um, Scream may, may have not needed Scream 5 and 6, right? What's the best thing for the franchise? Maybe it was stopping after 3, making just a trilogy. But there's a difference between what's the best thing for the franchise and then what does like the money say and what can you kind of push the franchise. And those, those are different because when a franchise reaches its end, you know, there's a difference between when it makes sense to close and, and everything, the, the story that needed to be told was told and then making more money. And that's where we're at, you know, in the, in the, which is not inherently evil or like a terrible thing. You can still get good products, but we are long past like, well, is it best for the franchise? Well, no, none of this is really the best for the franchise. You probably should stop. But, you know, again, and I guess that's what feeds into that's one thing you can do. You can cancel it. You can hang it up. You can sell the rights, all that. And maybe that one day happens, at least the selling the rights thing. But the other side of things is you just find a way to make it work. And it does not it's not going to be pretty. It doesn't, I guess, have to be pretty. Uh, people are not going to like it. People don't have to like it, right? Like, those things are going to happen. Um, there's no way around it. Again, they caused it themselves. So I do think 2025. I think, like I said, you probably plan to film sometime late this year early next year and and you can absolutely with that timeline get the movie out in that same year could it be faster yes um this is where i would like advise <laughs> that they slow it down a little bit if you can get the script done say in like the next month and get people booked and say hey we can film this thing in july and we can get this thing out by like march or april trying to almost replicate scream six right but you're doing it in a lot shorter time uh, at least the writing process it seems and it's also way messier could you do that yes I think my timeline of like filming and then releasing it late 2025 is rushing. You're still trying to fix these issues that you caused and you're trying to like plug all these holes like in a ship, but it's not like the most rush you could be. What I just said, that would be very much like, hey, quick money, the fastest money humanly possible. Uh, we want this thing done. And they could do it like that. Um, would that be fine well i mean we would get the movie faster <laughs> you know we'd be able to talk but that you know quality wise i would argue that might not be for the best and and again the the biggest thing is you just need to get these people back or and when i say back i mean like maybe a nev campbell right you just need to figure out who is able to do this freaking thing you know at the at the time we're at right now so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on and i hope to see you all on the next one